Hey guys, welcome back to another video and we are back in the driveway in this one and I'm installing some gull wing windows in the back of the 76 series. So since I've installed this rear bar, I mean I love this setup the way I got it but if you need to get something out of the back you have to open both swingaways and both doors just to get something easy out of the back. And I've always been eyeing off these gull wing windows and I've wanted to get a set. So I finally bit the bullet, ordered them, it did take I ended up ordering the cruiser company ones and it took about eight weeks to get them after you've paid all your money up front so keep that in mind if you're trying to do anything like this that does take a while to get all this stuff together yeah so i'm hoping to just leave one side fully open i know a lot of people box them in but i always want to have quick and easy access so i can open the window and reach in and get whatever i need straight out of the back easily whether it's the chainsaw recovery gear anything like that and maybe the other side I'll do something with that later on maybe box it in but I don't think I'll do anything real fancy I might put I have a travel buddy to install as well so we might do that in the end of this video as well so the first step we've got to do is take the old window out now it is threatening to rain so um, we'll see how we go because once I get that window out it's we have to get it all done I suppose I could chuck a tarp over the car anyhow, but yeah, we'll, we'll do it bit by bit. Um, this isn't a tutorial video, this is just me having a go in the driveway. Um, plenty of things will probably be wrong, but let me know anyhow. <laughs> Thanks guys. Yeah, so this is the old style window, it's just a window. Now they do pop out from the inside. But that's all you get, that's the only movement. So we are changing it to a gull wing. So first things first, get this old window out without breaking it hopefully or dropping any of the nuts down the inside. So I've just removed the seatbelt bolt and this whole trim here on this cover plate. We take out the two nuts here and the two nuts at the top. I've already, I've already undone this bracket and then this window should come out. Just like that, it's out. This seal's got to come out too. Now to get to both of those sets of bolts there, I did have to loosen off the cargo barrier. And I have this shelf I made as well myself. So now we're getting to the fun part, or close to the fun part where we're gonna drill. Because everyone loves drilling into their Land Cruiser. I have to drill six mil first, but I'm doing a pilot hole. Yeah. 
it's going to work. The next bit is this plate. Uh, it goes in the bottom for the strut. Just find where it sits nicely. We drill those out to six mil as well. into the holes I've drilled I'm just using a cotton tip and some white paint it's just some white kill rust and I'm just going to paint the inside of the holes I do this with any hole I drill in the car what's your gang sign do you want to get out S I don't have a gang sign bro SD bro <laughs> <laughs> you right? Huh? You right? Gang signs about that. My gang sign is 4x4. 4x4, four, four four, bro. Yeah, we better do this, eh? Yeah, man. <laughs> uh, if you could get out, so you need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 bolts, 16 thick washers, and 8 nuts, please. Big washers, not thick, mate. Do anything for you, come rescue you. Do all the fiddly jobs. Film for you. It's got a bit of funny one on there too. It's, it's like you're under pressure, eh? Like it's... it's hard, man. Yeah. I'm glad you understand. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Do your best. Sycophlex the rest. In the right chat. My jobs are so good, there's no need for sick and flex, but we'll put it on because it says to. <laughs> Do your so best, take screw the rest. Just put the plate up, and then I just put a little mark, so we know where to. Stop. Yeah, with the sick and flex. All right, so you want a sick and flex from there, just a little bit. Heaps? No, just a little bead, please. Heaps? I think it is, he asked me for help. He actually didn't ask me. Yeah. He asked Owen, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> How's this? It's not too much, is it? Seems alright. Yeah? Yeah. Alright, that's good, yeah. You go alright for a landscaper sometimes, eh? Mate, being your son, I've had to do heaps of random stuff before. I mean, that's not laying turf, but it's, you know, pretty close, though. So this plate goes on, and then the plate behind it that for the um, gas strut. We just got to put the top plate on now. We'll do the same with that one. Uh, Beat a sick flex. And bottle up. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay, we just put that beta uh, sticker flex on there or mastic, whatever you want to call it. And we're just bolting this section up now. Four bolts go in this, M5, same as the bottom. Let's go. Alrighty, now we're just putting the uh, the actual main part of the door on. This is Majorly hits this here, eh? Look. Yeah, on this side sticks out. Yeah. I think we just get the alignment right that way and then I nick them up. Yeah, so where's it going to go? I think it's pretty close. It's pretty much. Well, I think once you tighten it down, because remember we haven't tightened these ones either, Dad. Yeah. It might all just like come good. So tighten these. Yeah. Yeah, that's heaps better there. But it does sit out a bit more, remember, once you put the seal and everything on. It does sit like there. So now we're just bolting up the little bracket uh, for the gas strut, just on the uh, inside of the door. So now we just gotta put the, the little uh, ball things on to hold the Hold the gas strut. Two twelve mils. This is a little gas strut for hold the door up, it just pops on. Up more. Down a bit. The only thing I don't like about these is the alignment there is not very good. We've got to bend and manipulate this bit to get it right. So we'll have a go. So what's got to happen there, Ryan? I've got to bend it. Got to bend it up. Yeah, up and out. It's just nowhere near it. All right. I'll give it a bend. Oh, up in there? Yeah. Oh, okay.
good. It's also supposed to be something to go over these holes, but um, I couldn't find anything. It's supposed to be a sticker or something because water can go in there now because your seal's back here. So I'll have to find something to put in there for sure. Maybe just a little rubber bung or something. And then up on the inside, I'll, I'll show you, I'll overlay the shot now, but the finish, like where um, the seal goes now, and then where the hood lining ends, it just doesn't look very good at all. I know it's just in the back of a wagon, but you think it would be a bit better than that, but I'll um, see what I can do. It's not very good. And the alignment on the back there wasn't very good, you've seen that, but I got it a bit better now. But other than that, they're pretty good. I got good access now, I can reach straight in, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, a few more things to tidy up now, pack up, but I've just got to put this cargo barrier back in place and we should be good to go. Um, that's going to be pain, but... Well guys, that's the two Cruiser Company Gull Wings installed. Um, pretty happy with the access I'm going to have now at the side of the vehicle. A um, couple of little issues with the windows, but that's just how it is, aftermarket products. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty happy with them, all in all. Just a couple of little tidy up things to do. Um, plug those holes there in the front that I was left with. And yeah, that's about it really. And then try and, I'm gonna work out, I'm gonna have my uh, travel buddy here somewhere. And I'll just keep the other side open just to gain access, like I said before, to chainsaw, recovery gear, that sort of stuff. So, yeah, thanks for watching. You like that? Nice. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're back in the driveway and I'm in install. Yeah, I'm in the On today's episode of Chad Donnie here, we're putting on these black things called gull wings. They're by the Kuzi company. They're gonna be like fully sicker now. We're gonna have like travel, travel buddy here and that, you know, you know, such draw and that. Have like the main feed on the tracks and you know what I mean and shit. Oh, we hectic, bro. Uh, 